Mauro, I know yes, how sir. much this pains you, but it happens. <laughs> it does. It's not what you would do, but it happens. People do this, they forget to clean their brush, and it gets hard. How do we save it? All right, first of all, if you're going to invest in a paintbrush, high quality paintbrush, you should take care of it. Right. I mean, clean it after each use. Immediately. You've Immediately. told us that a million times. Right. Right. In this case, just asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do it's if always you a friend involved? <laughs> I know. What would you do if they forgot the clean? All right. In this case, you can see that they let it go too long. Yes. At this point, we're going to have to use like a chemical a brush cleaner to get rid of this paint. Okay. You're not typically a chemical guy. I don't like much. That would be my last case resort. But in this case, that's the only thing that can clean up this brush. So what do you recommend? All right. So we're going to put it right in this bucket. Got the ferro right against this magnet there. Okay. Um, and then we're going to use this product that calls brush cleaner. So you've got your gloves on. I'm going to put my gloves put on. Because glo as you say, on. it's a chemical. It's a chemical. It's the hardest part of any paint job is getting these gloves on. Can I see that for a second? Absolutely. So I'm looking at it. I mean, and it literally just says right here. It says brush cleaner. Yeah. Cleans. And it can paint you know, tools, paint removes tools. oil and latex. Yeah. And it's good for both synthetic brushes synthetic and naturals. Oil based. It's good for almost every brush. And I'm just going to find this at the home center on the paint shelf. Absolutely. At the paint aisle, you can find it. Okay. So that is the chemical we're using. There's the chemical that we're using. You've got my friend's brush soaking you in it. You've got your friend's Kevin's brush right there. How long do you think it's going to have to soak? We're going to let it soak for about 15, 20 minutes, maybe a little longer. Yeah. We'll try and see. All right. How, how are you going to know? Like, well, uh, all you're going to know, you're going to pull this brush out, and I have this one done. This has been about 20 to 30 minutes there. Okay. So we're going to test it with the little uh, utility brush. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know you're going to have to do something with that. Well, but I'm saying, like, I'm expecting you to grab one of these, right? Oh, not really. Metal brush? Not really. Metal brush. Wire? The wire brush is going to do nothing but damage the bristles on this quality brush. Too aggressive? Too aggressive. I do something like this on my nails. Oh, I know you do, but I mean... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wooden right. brush, softer bristles. Soft bristles. All you got to do, let's try this one here that's been here for about uh, 25, 30 minutes. All you got to do is try a little bit. Oh, look at that. Just nice and easy. Yep. All right. So you're pushing that down. You're pushing it down always because you don't want anything to go into the ferrule. Okay. Can so I give it a try? You can give it a try. Try it on this other side. All right. So, well, first so of all, nice. you can see the paint. You can see the paint comes there. right off there. So that's good. I'm going to flip to this side. Yep. Give it a little dip. Got a little dip. Oh yeah, it's coming off. That it's little sort of right orange off. color of the brush down below is starting to come out. And it looks like this paint has been dry for a couple of days. Yeah, for sure. It's powerful stuff. I'm glad I got gloves on. It's stinky. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit, yeah. Now what? Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to rinse with the water. Okay. Whatever little color that stays there, the water will take care of that. So get a bucket with the water here. Use your brush right there. So this is just regular clean water, no chemicals here? No chemicals there. This is we're going to rinse with the just clean water. You can see some of that remnants of the chemical and the paint coming off. And the paint comes right off. So we can also use another scrub, another cleaner one. And you're always going in the direction of the bristles and away from the ferrule. Away from the ferrule. You don't want any water or anything to get in behind the ferrule. Water. Where are you from? Water. Somewhere down south. <laughs> Look at that. That really? is looking. Can I see this? You can see that. You can try this one too if that you like. That is awesome. Well, but so this is not discoloration, right? I mean, this was a tip of the brush. This is the color from the tip of the brush. Right. Yeah. yeah so, and those are, I mean, there's just, there's just nothing to that, right? Nothing to it, just water, the brush, the scrub brush. Okay. Dang, Naked, that looks pretty good. That looks nice. What now? Well, now all we got to do is like give it a hand spin. Oh, I love the spin. All right, Let's so we spin, can Mr. do it right at the bucket, right in the bucket, right there. Just go like this, nice and easy. That should be nice. Okay, the next step we're gonna get my brush comb. Okay. I'm gonna give a little comb. 
Just now, are you trying sure. to remove material at this point, or are you just trying to get it so that the bristles are all in order? No, I'm trying to separate the bristles. They will be nice and in good shape for the next paint project. So just give it a nice comb. Yeah. Just like that. Want to try it? Sure. I think it's going to be nice. Yeah. It's actually a similar color to my hair. See? Beautiful. Thank you, Maro. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.